Hi, I'm Nell Schofield and I'm really stoked to be part of this project. I touch myself. I first met Chrissy when she was cast as Judy Garland in The Boy From Oz. I mean, what an incredible performance that was and what expectations there were of her in that role because Judy Garland is such an icon. And Chrissy stepped right into those shoes, those, I guess, you know, ruby slippers, if you like, and became the most amazing Judy Garland for us all and brought The Boy From Oz to life. Um, so I met her around that time and, um, you know, we, we got to know each other a little bit. But I really remember when I was at an art exhibition opening and I saw this amazing woman over in the corner, you know, being very mysterious, wearing these rabbit ears. <laughs> and I thought, wow, who's that cool dude? So I went over and was introduced again to Chrissy, who had changed a little bit over the years um, and was a lot quieter than I remembered her because she was quite a kind of a shy person underneath all that amazing performance that she did. And I guess performance for her was a way of, you know, overcoming her shyness and really, you know, connecting with audiences. When I first heard the song, I thought, wow, what an edgy, sexy, saucy song. It was just so empowering, really. And it was talking about female sexuality in a way that really hadn't been spoken of before in a song. And it was so radical that Chrissy being this kind of rock chick, went out there and, uh, and, and delivered this song in such, a, such an amazing way. Um, and I think it touched us all, you know, and it made us really aware of our own, uh, of pleasuring ourselves and putting pleasure first, our own pleasure rather than pleasing everyone. Because I think, you know, a lot of times women just want to please men, they want to please other people. So this was a real song about, okay, you've got to please yourself. Um, but now the song has taken on a whole new meaning. Chrissy wanted it to be used as a tool for raising awareness about breast cancer. And it's just the perfect song for that. I mean, what better lyrics than I touch myself could be used to um, raise awareness in that way. It's brilliant. So it wasn't until about 20 years ago when I touched myself and found a lump in my breast. and. You know, this is every girl's worst nightmare, really. And so I went off and I had, um, you know, mammograms and biopsies and all the rest of it. And no one could tell me what it was. No one could be say defini definitively that it wasn't cancer. Um, so they operated on me and they took it out in day surgery. And uh, it was it turned out to be a fibroid adenoma and they stitched me up and it was all OK. But it was a really traumatic period, you know. So you want to be sure that you've got all these things covered. I'm sure in the last 20 years, everything's come a long way and, you know, women won't have to go through all those steps again, that they will be able to find out that, you know, it's uh, it's benign uh, without having to go into surgery. But the best thing is to be absolutely sure, especially when one in eight women are going to contract breast cancer. And it's something that really can be stopped and can be dealt with. So. I'm just very happy to be touching myself as often as possible to avoid anything like that. <laughs>